Hello, welcome and a very good morning to all of you. In this webinar, we'll be dealing with the CAD part analysis tools that are available in uh, Clovis. Before we start, a brief uh, background about uh, us, our experience in 3D visualization. We are the team that develops both eDrawing publishers as well as Clovis. Uh, Clovis is a modern CAD viewer for viewing 3D CAD files on the desktop, iOS, Android, and web. A little bit about me, I'm Sridhar, I'm the product manager for Glovius Apps. I have 12 years experience in building MCAD software applications. As the consumption of 3D data in global enterprises keeps increasing, uh, especially among the downstream users, we would need specific tools that caters to their specific and custom workflows and uh, that's exactly where Glovius would fit in to address the use cases of process engineers, QC inspectors and so on and so forth. What these users desire is an affordable and lightweight tool that is simple and fast to learn and offers easy and effective functions to uh, their tailor-made use cases and it's available everywhere. CAD uh, viewer for Windows, web, and mobile apps. You can learn more about our product at Glovius.com. As most of you are aware, Glovius uh, is a multi CAD uh, viewer. You can use it to open multiple file formats like SolidWorks, Katia, MX, ProE, Step IGES, and so on and so forth. You can analyze your component by using the measure tool and uh, finding out the measurement values of uh, specific geometries like circular holes, uh, circular features, the distance between two uh, planes or two edges, and so on and so forth. Glovius can also be used for computing the material distribution of a particular component. Using this material distribution, you'll be quickly able to figure out the thick and thin portions of a particular component. So uh, let's start uh, analyzing the thickness of this particular component. The result you'll see would be a graphical result and you'll be able to uh, automatically calculate the various uh, portions of uh, thickness or thinness in this particular component. As you can see, the entire component has been shaded in different colors, uh, showcasing the uh, different values of thickness and the material distribution uh, that is spread across uh, this component. There are also specific uh, purpose-built tools for figuring out the component attributes. For example, you can use the analyze uh, uh, tool to you know quickly get the component overview in terms of dimensions, the weight and the volume properties. Uh, you can also use it for computing the uh, mass values by changing the uh, editable density property based on the material uh, of the design intent. For faster analysis, you can use and display uh, the broad dimensions and the mass of the component always in the graphical area so that whenever you open a component, you have these properties uh, visible to you without even uh, clicking on any function or a tool. Let's now try and open a plastic component so that we can figure out and perform certain draft angle calculations on the component. So with a single click, you'll be able to figure out all the draft angles of all the surfaces in this component to assist you with the injection molding process. All you need to do is select a reference plane and there you go, you have all the draft angles of 
the various surfaces with respect to the particular reference plane. Similarly, you can also calculate the projected area of a particular component uh, uh, using the uh, projected area tool. So the moment you select a plane, uh, the projected area is uh, displayed along with uh, a graphical representation. So you can use this projected area function to calculate, for example, the casting pressure that needs to be applied uh, to the molds during casting process or in many such uh, use cases. Another important tool to figure out the changes in design way, uh, iterations is to use the compare tool uh, using which you can uh, uh, quickly find out the changes to the part feature definition or the part geometry and also figure out the changes to product structure in case of assemblies. You can input two files to the uh, Globius and Globius would compute the results uh, in 3D. The transparent colored components has remained the same in both the iterations. The blue colored component has been added and the magenta colored co component has been removed. How Globius can be used to perform uh, analysis of the part designs. Uh, we hope to see you in our next webinar. Bye. Bye.